Liquid Sports Ghana held its maiden Olympism theme seminar dubbed, making it happen on Thursday, 10th March 2016, at the KN Konya Hall at Accra Academy. The two hour program, which started at 2 30 pm and ended at 4 30 pm, was meant to inspire, educate, and motivate students and other participants. Over 300 students attended the event, which was graced by the Honorable Deputy Minister of Youth and Sports, Vincent Opoan Samoa, the Deputy Director General of the National Sports Authority, Saka Kwe, Her Excellency Brazil Ambassador to Ghana, Irene Vida Gala, and the First Secretary of the Embassy of Japan, Yoshiko Higuchi. Others included the President of the Ghana Triathlon Federation, Bawa Fuseni, the Director of Sports at the University of Ghana, Legon, Dr. Bella Bello Bitugu, and three national sports icons, namely Taekwondo player Terence Tete Asari, wheelchair para athlete Patrick Yaobin, and former Ghana goalkeeper Ali Jara. The program started off with the board chairman of Accra Academy, Mr. Wilson Kotete, welcoming the participants to the event. This indeed is a great school. I'm sure nobody, nobody on this earth has any doubts about the Accra Academy. The Accra Academy is both a school excellent in academics and excellent in sports. I think the purpose today is to introduce you and to firm in your minds that the fact that you are a sports person does not mean that you should neglect your academics. Do we understand that? The fact that you are a sports person does not mean that you should neglect your academics because they go hand in hand. Mr. Tay's welcome address was followed by a speech by the Rio 2016 Paralympic Games chef de mission, Mr. Sakakwe, who dwelt on Ghana's preparations towards the Games. Subsequently, there were presentations by the First Secretary of the Embassy of Japan, Yoshiko Higuchi, and a presentation on Rio 2016 by Her Excellency, Brazil Ambassador to Ghana, Irene Vida Gala. The gathering then had first-hand tales of sacrifice, hard work, sheer determination by three national sports icons at the seminar. They included former Ghana goalkeeper Ali Jara, Taekwondo player and Rio 2016 scholarship holder Terence Tete Asari, and 2015 All-Africa Games wheelchair race double silver medalist Patrick Yaobin. Patrick Yaobin, who had his left leg amputated, resulting in seven major surgeries and spending five years at a hospital following an accident, advised the student to take the academics seriously. Education, education is good. What do you mean education is your life? You can never remove education from your life. School number one, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. But what? Sports, I can't remove the other. Now, when you want some three athletes meeting for the bar, the bizarre is that you saw almost a woman in Jamaica president. Almost a day. Almost a day. Almost a day. Jamaica. Terence Tetasari, who is presently the general manager of client services at RCS, told the gathering it is possible to combine both academics and sports with perseverance, focus, and hard work. Most people think when, when you train or you do any exercise, any form, you get tired, you can't actually go on with your activities. But it is a misconception, okay? It is a misconception. The beginning to success is for you to actually take a step, okay? Everyone here chose to be here, all right? You could have been sitting in your hall, sleeping, or waiting for prep time, or learning or something. But you chose to be here. If you don't get anything from all this talk from the beginning, just take this. Your choices in life will determine where you want to be. And if you know where you want to be, you take a decision. You make a decision. Former national goalkeeper Ali Jara, who got paralyzed at the edge of a breakthrough to sign a professional contract with the European Football Club, 
told the students not to give up in life no matter what. Jara advised students to take both their studies and sports talent seriously because most active sports careers were very short, while education was one of the ways to prolong one's involvement in sports. He told the student that though his playing career ended at age 17 due to paralysis, his role in the national under-17 team helped him to set up a goalkeeping academy which has trained over 360 goalies, including national stars Fatal Dauda and Patricia Mante. I started as a young player, a goalkeeper at Mambrumbi. I was picked from Coast Festival to join the national under-17, which uh, 12 goalkeepers, I was the only goalkeeper from course. I was picked to Starless. After Starless, I was registered with a grass of book. But my story is soccer or sports, you end your career maybe age 14, 42. That's the time your children will be entering the senior high school and university. When you have no education, you end up your career with zero. When you have good education with the brand you have, you start something with it. The Honorable Deputy Minister of Youth and Sports, Vincent Opoa Samoa, commended Liquid Sports Ghana for successfully organizing the first of its kind Olympism themed seminar dubbed Making It Happen at Accra Academy. The minister, who doubles as Member of Parliament for Doma West Constituency, Brong Ahafu Region, advised a student to take their academics seriously and learn to combine their studies with sports to achieve their goals in life. I love you for men first. What is the liquid sports gun for this opportunity? It was my wish that in future, if we can have representation from other schools, or we can extend it to another second cycle institution. You can still pursue your the academic way and the same time you do your sports. And I don't even Brazil, um, we had one player who was a, a doctor, Socrates, who was a medical doctor, and the same time playing for the last time. So you know, it is not me, you know, most of you are really in this. 13, 14, up to 17 years now. I know most of you are living that in bracket. You can, if you have a talent, you can train and train hard and you can become a national athlete. So other speakers at the event, including Her Excellency Brazil Ambassador to Ghana, Irene Vida Gala, urged the student to make physical exercise a part of their daily routine while assuring the audience that her home country was ready to host Rio 2016 Olympic Games. The biggest winner of the Games will be the Brazilian people and the Brazilian youth. Why? Because there was a lot of investment in promoting sports in the country. 500 athletes from 206 countries. Well, sometimes it's been difficult to believe, are we 206 countries? Are there this number of countries? Yes. There are 306 medal events and there is something interesting. Do you think that there are more medal events for men or for women? For men? Yes, you are right. And what would be the difference? Very small. More and more women are making uh, uh, sport part of their life. And there are more competitions and medals also for women. And a few events that are mixed. So you have just nine events mixed. Can you think of any events that's mixed? The first secretary of the Embassy of Japan, Yoshiko Higuchi, briefed the students about preparations towards Tokyo 2020 using the inspiring story of Ghanaian born Japanese French sensation Abdul Hakim Sunny Brown to motivate a student to take sports seriously. Now, today we are going to speak about. Tokyo 2020 Olympic before uh, 2016 Rio Olympic. So if we are thinking about 2020, 2020 uh, Olympic, it's still far from now. You know this guy? He's Japanese. Please stand okay. He's 16 years old. Okay. His name is Sunny Brown. His father is Ghanaian. His mother is Japanese. 
So he was born in Japan, he grew up in Japan. Now he is 16 years old. And he is also a national athlete for short distance sprint. Last year, you know, we already saw that last year there was World Athletic Championship in Beijing. He participated in 200 meters. And he qualified semi-final. Meanwhile, the director of the sports directorate of the University of Ghana, Legon, Dr. Bella Bello Bitugu, urged the student to take advantage of UG's new sports policy of admitting more sportsmen and women. Take these three gentlemen. Uh, I, 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 I heard the story of the computer engineer who combines sports and academia. Then you have the gentleman who, at, at, I mean, at our age, we, we try to jog in the morning, we, after 10 minutes, you know, and at this age, he's still representing the nation. Despite the kind of things he went through, that is the res resilience in sport. And with a degree of uh, ability, which you may call normal or not usual, and then you come to Ali Jara, uh, Ali Jara during our time was a goalkeeper because uh, I am and I, I was and I still am a phobia supporter. And all of a sudden we had Ali, Ali Jara as part of, as, as, as become a paralyzed person. And, and the combination of these stories tells me, in fact, today you should be grateful you are here. All that you learned in class from the beginning of this term up to today. What you are learning today surpasses what you have learned the whole time because this is a school of life. This is something that someone who gets an accident becomes sick or whatever, it becomes unusual. Nobody looks at him. We want to show you, or the organizers have shown you, what it is that life is all about, what it is that makes a person a member of the community. It is not the normal characteristics that we see. And for me, I am very, very, very proud of these people. A student of Accra Academy shared his experience at the end of the seminar. Today I feel very excited to see some of the great people who really um, dedicated them, um, themselves to the nation. And also, um, I learned that um, whatever we do, we need to be selfless and also um, try to do everything out of our heart. We shouldn't just do anything for money, but we should have passion for whatever that we, we do. You hear about many things. Uh, this uh, uh, let us understand that through sports we can do many things. The board chairman of Accra Academy, Mr. Wilson Kortete, brought the curtain down on a very eventful, inspiring, motivating and educated program. The students were refreshed by Promacido Ghana through the provision of Carbo drinks and Guinness Ghana breweries who provided Malta Guinness and Alvaro beverages. The program was well attended by the media with representatives from GTV, Metro TV, TV3, Star FM, GNA, Graphic and Ghanaian Times. Those media houses have subsequently broadcasted and published stories on the event. Liquor Sports Ghana and its partners are looking forward to the next seminar, which is due to be held at a secondary school in Accra in the month of April.